So if you hate the Arduino IDE as much as I do, and you want to use like Visual Studio Code or Atom or Vim, uh, then this is definitely the video for you. Uh, we're going to be taking a look at installing some software onto an Arduino Nano, and we're going to compile and upload it all through the terminal. So uh, yeah, let's get started. So a couple of prerequisites out the gate. Uh, we're going to be doing this on either Mac or Linux. Uh, if you're in Windows, I have a couple of tutorial videos on how to start up a virtual machine to be able to run Linux. Uh, you should check that out. Uh, if not, then it, it is possible, but it's a little more complicated and we're not going to be touching on that in this video. So uh, yeah, check out some of my other videos and hopefully you can do that and come back. So first things first is we're obviously going to have to install some software. So first thing, we're going to go over to GitHub to this repo, github.com slash sadar slash arduino dash makefile. Now once we're there, we're basically just going to uh, follow his instructions. So if you're on Ubuntu or Debian, you're going to go to app get install Arduino dash MK. Uh, for Mac users, we're going to brew install the Arduino dash MK uh, package. And then on, if you're on Arch, you're going to go to the AUR package uh, repository and install the Arduino dash MK. Um, you can also build it yourself um, or pull it down and run everything through the actual repo that way. So that's always possible too if you feel like doing it that way. But obviously package managing is probably the easiest way to manage all this. So the next thing you're going to do after all that is we have to install Pi Serial because um, Python is going to be the um, programming language that's going to actually be accessing their Arduino and uh, installing all the software onto it. So you're going to, if you don't have uh, Python installed, actually, first you're going to want to install Python. So we're going to do uh, brew install Python. I already have it installed, so I'm not going to do it, but you're going to want to install Python first, Python 3, and then you're going to want to do pip 3 install pi serial. So after we install the pi serial, then we're going to have to actually install the Arduino IDE. I know I said I hated it, but unfortunately it has some packages in there to compile. Um, so we're gonna have to install it. So let's head on over to arduino.cc and we're gonna go to software, downloads, and it's literally just gonna be the first thing that pops up, the Arduino IDE. Right now it's 1.8.13. Um, it's probably gonna be different by the time you get to this video, but um, we're gonna be clicking on the Mac OS X. Um, I've already donated plenty of times, so we're going to just download. Oh, my pop-up window is blocked, of course. So we're going to allow it. And there we go, it's downloading. Oh, downloaded it twice. So once you download it, you know, 57 times apparently, um, you're just gonna need one version of it. On Mac, you're just going to drag the Arduino app into the applications folder, which I already have right there, Arduino. So I'm all set. I can just delete it now. Um, if you're on Linux, there's a little bit more of a process involved. So you have to go through, I think, a menu and stuff and install a couple things. Uh, but it's really self-explanatory. It shouldn't be too difficult. So hopefully um, you should be fine with that. All right, so now that we have everything installed, we can actually start working on the make file and then the actual Arduino blink file. So we're gonna be creating a, it's kind of like the hello world of um, Arduino. It's called blink basically just makes a light blink on your Arduino board. So let's uh, let's jump into that. So first thing we're gonna do is we're going to make a directory for blink and then go into it. Um, we are going to write some code here. So let's vim into our make file first and kind of jump into this a little bit. Um, so because we're running a nano, we're going to have to set a few things to be able to compile for the nano. So we're going to have to first do a board tag of nano, and then we're going to do a board uh, sub of at mega 328. Now, these two things are obviously going to change depending upon what board that you have. So for the nano that I have, it has the at mega 328 chip on it. Um, so you're going to have to do a little bit of research and figure out exactly what um, chipset that your Arduino has, and that's going to affect it on this. So usually in, um, I mean, obviously it has plenty of forms to figure this out, or in the IDE, actually, I think it uh, auto selects whatever the main uh, chipset is for that Arduino. So you should be okay uh, to figure that out. So uh, next thing we're going to add on here too is the 
ARD MK vendor, Arduino. Uh, we want the port that we're going to be adding onto. Uh, this is basically wherever you're gonna plug in USB wise, it needs to know what port the USB Arduino is on. So we're gonna do monitor port. Um, and on Mac, this is gonna be devcu.usb serial. And we put the star on there because it's just gonna scan all the ports for you. Um, so each port has a specific number. So if we put the star there, it just kind of goes through all the different numbers for you. If you are on Linux, you're actually going to go to dev.ttyusb star. Uh, so for Arch users, that's where you're gonna want to go. But since we're on Mac, we're gonna be running it this way. And next we're gonna have to do the Arduino directory. So on Mac, this is gonna be at applications, Arduino. This is where we um, installed it uh, the last time. So this is actually gonna be different depending upon what system that you're on. So if we go to Linux, it's just gonna be wherever you installed Arduino app. Um, if you are one of the crazy people programming on Windows, then you're going to go to the C directory and place it wherever um, you installed Arduino. And lastly, we're going to want to do an include user local opt Arduino MK, Arduino MK. So this is just the um, directory for the Arduino MK package, and we're going to need this for the uh, compilation. So I think that's everything that we need. Let me just triple check here. Um, the last thing that we can include, but we don't need necessarily right now, but you might need in the future, is the Arduino libs. Did I spell that right? Arduino, yeah. <laughs> I don't know if I can spell. Um, so this is where you can, I have a couple uh, packages that I've, or libraries that I've had before. Um, Liquid Crystal I2C. Um, so like the, I forget what the wire one's for, but the liquid crystal one is for, um, actually doing, uh, LCD screens or LED screens, LED, LCD, I don't know, one of the screens. So all the screens. So that's basically the file that we need just to compile everything. Um, so now that we have that done, um, the whole compilation process is basically all set. So we can actually focus now on the Blink program. So we're gonna do vim blink.ino. Now, if you are new to Arduino at all, um, I'm going to kind of blast through this and I'm gonna make another video specifically for kind of breaking all this stuff down. So we're just gonna kind of fly through this, unfortunately. But stay tuned for the updated video on what all this means. So first we're going to uh, void setup. Uh, this is just the initial program that we're gonna run. Pin mood, LED built in. This is the um, the built-in LED on the board, so we don't actually have to add an LED later. And then uh, we're gonna add the loop. Uh, dig digital right LED built in, high. And we're gonna do another one and we're gonna change that to low. And then we're gonna add in a delay of 200 milliseconds. So that's all you need. Um, this is just going to blink the light on and off every 200 milliseconds. So you should see it just blinking on and off, on and off, on and off. So let's try that. So we're gonna exit out. Uh, now we're going to just type in make and hopefully everything works. Cool, so we had a couple errors up here. Um, this is just, yeah, I think this is based on the actual Arduino code itself, just a warning. You can ignore that. If there's anything in red, that means you did some kind of mistake, but we'll talk about that in the next video. So now that it builds fine, we're going to hook up our Arduino. So in the kit that I have in the link in the description, it comes with a cable not this cable, this is separate. Comes with a USB cable and a Nano. You're just going to plug in the Nano into the USB cable. Uh, because the Mac that I have, it's all Thunderbolt, so I unfortunately need a adapter for this. So you're gonna plug the adapter in if you have the crappy Mac and plug that into the Mac. So hopefully at this point, all we have to do is do make upload. 
Okay, so we have an error. File line four and in input serial, no module name serial. So this issue is going to come up if you have two versions of Python installed. So right now I have Python 2.7 and Python 3.6 or 3.7, whatever, 3.8, I think is the latest one. Um, so we're gonna have to do something to fix that issue. So we're going to do vim, or you can use any IDE that you want or notepad text editor, uh, whatever you want. User local bin ard reset Arduino. So in here it's defaulting to Python. So we want Python three. So we're just gonna add a three onto the end of the shebang. And then we're going to save it, exit out, make upload, and that should fix it. Yes, it did. It says thank you. And now we can look at our Arduino. If I can hide my face here, and you should see the little LED and it's blinking every 200 milliseconds. Kind of cool. To prove that it's actually working, let's um, change the rate here. So seven, so let's change this to uh, say a thousand milliseconds. So one second, quit out, and then we can do make upload. It'll build it again and send it to the board. And then you'll be able to see that if I had my face again, it is blinking at a much slower rate. So that's basically it. Uh, as long as uh, nothing else got uh, screwed up during the process, uh, you'd be able to edit in any ID that you want. So stay tuned for another video. We're going to take a deeper dive into Arduino and how to program it. So uh, yeah, hope uh, this was helpful for you guys.